Is that secret? Open the vault. All right, first up. Okay. Um, I was chatting with Anne about some retro stuff, and we're like, oh, you know, we don't have an RS-232 level shifter. So, and I was like, I think I chatted about this on Descalade Data. Um, I used to do a lot of stuff with RS-232, and these days I use USB a lot. But still, it's good to have a little level shifter. So this is one that takes a DE9, you know, standard 9-pin D-sub, um, and converts the plus minus 12 plus minus six volts whatever into three or five volt logic level with all of the pins um i don't remember the exact part number i think this is the max 3423 um anyways watch desk of lady Ada. you'll see how i picked it Excellent. i also made a tiny max 3232 breakout um this one doesn't have the de9 uh, it doesn't have all of the uh, io it just does two channels of rx and tx but it's very compact um so good if you're connecting to retro stuff um, you know, things that are RS-232 um, logic level and you want to use three or five volt logic level on the other side. So, um, I had a request for an IR transceiver, um, which is not the same as the IRDA transceiver. They wanted something different. I was like, oh, okay, I can design something like that. So this has uh, two IR emitters, 940 nanometers, and one 38 kilohertz IR receiver for remotes. So it's kind of like, send and receive IR remote signals, and I put a JST PH connector on there. It's not Stemma because it's not I2C, but you can use the same cables to send and receive, uh, and you can use three or five volt logic. Next up. Um, I wanted to make another version of the HUSB 238, which is like a popular uh, USB Type-C PD dummy board. Um, we already have one, but I wanted one that was like kind of ready to go and didn't need any soldering to use. Um, so this has a USB-C, and if you wanted to use I2C to control it, there's a QT port. But if not, you can just flip one of the switches on the little dip switches on the side there. They're like a compact dip switch. Uh, so you have like 5 through 20. So you flip the switch that matches the voltage you want on, and then poof, the voltage comes out on the terminal block on the end. And it's like fully assembled. So mm. I would, yeah. Liz. I know. So all those were for me. Um, but Liz is also wanted to, well, she wanted to get in on the, uh, hardware design because what's life without suffering anyways. Um, so one of the projects we're working on is this Ikea Vin, Vin drinking. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, they don't know how to spell it either. PM 2.5 sensor that we want to remix the input insides and, and use an ESP module instead and have like a drop in, um, board that you just like unplug the existing board, plug in this board. Um, but that, that PCB design has this kind of vertical USB-C. So I was like, okay, well, let's start by just making a breakout for the USB-C connector, and then we can work on getting the rest of the board design. So, um, she did a great job making a footprint. She did a blog post about it, and we're going to start with just the breakout. I think this will be kind of a useful thing anyways. Um, a USB-C breakout that's easily mountable for vertical USB-C connectivity. Top secret. A lot of top. A lot of secret.